And then you have right here some volleyball. It could be used for showing the whole trajectory. So we hit the NHK, and uh, how does this work? The solution. Here, uh, you can see the four cameras, two here, over here and uh, two over there. And uh, each camera detects the uh, uh, ball. And uh, uh, we use the uh, machine learning. Yeah. And then uh, that will detect the balls. And from the detection uh, of the four cameras, uh, we can calculate the three-dimensional yes. point. All right. What is the software there? Uh, this detect the balls and also at the same time uh, calculate the 3D position. And what is the, the idea of this? Then you can know exactly kilometers per hour, yes, so velocity, the height. the height. So every single, this is so cool, when they play the volleyball, there's the whole uh, details about every single shot, right? You will know exactly how fast it goes. Yes. And that you can have a new type of uh, sports broadcasting, which is, whoa, it's so cool. So, um, but can you easily install this multi-camera system in every sport? Um, well, this system uh, is uh, targeting the balls, round balls, and uh, we might be able to some other shape, but uh, uh, we haven't tried it yet. But uh, this system can be adapted not only the fixed camera, also the uh, robot camera, like uh, over there, uh, by moving camera. Moving camera would work too? Yes. Can you make it work with just any of the broadcasting cameras? It's just software, right? Yes, but uh, it needs the uh, uh, sensors. So how much rotating, how much poison on that. And if you have those sensors, then uh, this technology can be adapted. And it says here we've developed a graphic system using machine learning. Oh, this is cool. Whoa. So this will be ready for the Tokyo 2020, right? Uh, we are hoping that this technology can be ap applied to uh, sports events. So.